Okay, is learning with... Shut up. What is up guys, today I'm here to give you my top 5 tips to help keep you motivated in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in no specific order. Tip number 5. Understand that Jiu Jitsu is actually really hard. As with learning any skill, it's going to take a serious amount of time to get good at it. So that means you're not going to get good in a week, you're not going to get good in a month, you're not going to get good in a year. It's going to take countless hours of practice, practice, practice to get better at this. So enjoy the ride. As long as you're doing the things that you need to do to get better, you're going to improve. Tip number four, don't make it all about you. So if you're showing up to class and you're getting bummed and you're kind of in the same routine and you're training so hard for yourself, change it up. Focus on somebody else. Think about how you can be the best partner you can be. Think about how you can make somebody else's jujitsu a little bit better. If there's something you can offer somebody else or even just letting somebody drill techniques on you. By making your training not just about you and trying to help other people succeed, that's going to give you another reason to show up, okay? You're not just doing it for you, but you're there for your teammates and helping everybody else get better as well. Third tip for you guys, try a competition. If your training's getting a little static and it feels like you're just showing up going through the motions every day, why not try training for something specific? Pick a competition a few months out and train for that. So competing can be an awesome goal. It's not for everybody, but what it can do for you is it's going to set a goal a few months out and you're going to do everything you can in those couple months to train for that competition. Whether that means extra workouts or paying attention better in class or an extra drilling session, whatever it is that you can do, you're going to be more focused on doing as much as possible and coming in as the best you for that competition. And that can help re kind of motivate yourself in your training so you're doing everything you can to get better. Number two tip for you guys, don't see getting tapped out in training as losing. You can't see tough training sessions and getting tapped out and all that as losing. I know it's hard at the time when you're there and this feels like this isn't getting any better, but in reality, you're just practicing. You're there to learn. You're there to try new things and make mistakes. And whether you're winning or not, it shouldn't matter. By showing up and just focusing on getting better and focusing on doing the things you need to do to improve, that's going to help you stay motivated faster rather than getting frustrated over who's tapping who. So the number one tip I have for you guys is to set realistic goals. Okay, they can be small, they can be large, and you need both. You need that long-term goal, which is maybe getting your black belt or winning worlds or something like that. And you need the little ones, which could possibly be hitting the technique of the day that you guys went over in class or competing in a competition or even just not getting submitted in a certain rolling session. Anything like that can help motivate you to keep coming back so you can achieve that goal, whatever it is. So set realistic goals. Set things that can help you want to come train every single day and things that can motivate you to keep coming back. So you think of it as in terms of like achievements and video games. I got this achievement, now we're going after the next one and the next one. Okay, make it about collecting achievements or something like that, whatever it is. Just get yourself on the mat as much as you can and keep learning. So that right there is five tips for you guys to help you stay motivated in your training. Remember, what works for one person may not work for another. So do what motivates you to come back to jiu-jitsu and just keep showing up, guys, because that's what it's all about. This is a thing we're all trying to do for as long as possible. It's not a short race. This obviously takes many, many years for us to get good at. I also want to know what you guys do in your training to help keep yourselves motivated or what you would recommend to somebody else to help keep them coming back onto the mats day after day. Leave it in the comments down below for me, guys, and we'll see what we can come up with. I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.